Well, you know him from his Netflix special, Big Dumb Animal, and his new special, Finally Live in Portland, is out now on Amazon Prime. Please welcome Matt Bronger. Thank you. Thank you. Thought you'd just have some jerk follow some lovely song. Let's have another hand for that beautifulness. I am not worthy. Oh! How are you, Wolf Trappers? It's amazing. Yeah! So cool. The Pilgrims built this place for burlesque. I'm psyched. Um, I, I love that we're all here together because we need more of this. We need less of people tearing each other down online and more people getting together. Thank you for this. And I say that... See, here's the thing about me. I love people, but I hate people. Do you guys also have that? Have you ever... I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I will go out of my way to not interact with someone. If someone's in the way of me, I won't tap them, go, hey, can I get by? I'll, like, find their pattern, find a hole, and shoot the lane like I was never here. <laughs> and if you're going to do that, do it fast. If you do it slow, you get hurt like I did. I was behind a giant guy, and all I had to do, because he's this much space, about six inches between his rear end and the bar, all I had to do was tap him, go, hey, man, can I get behind you? And I'm sure he would have been like, yeah, move these little people, fellow monster. Here you go. <laughs> but instead of interacting with another human man, I decided to smooth behind him, like, shh, I'm not here. I'm not here. Don't turn around. And of course, he laughed, and his hand went back, and he slapped my face without knowing I was there. Like, ah! And he jumped like he'd been shocked. It'd be like if you're laying in bed and you reach for a glass of water that you know is on your nightstand in the darkness, and your hand brushed some lips, like, ah! Who's there? Like, he turned and went, what the heck, man? And all I said was, I didn't want to talk to you. Just walked away, fresh tears. And I should know better, because years before that, it happened a thousand times worse. I was in a museum in Chicago with my mother, my father, and my father had wandered off, which he just does since he turned 65 and he's retired. Another one with his brain, but it'll just be like, is that a boat? And he's gone, just takes off. And my mother said, where's your father? And we all have those moments we look back on, and if you could change one thing in your life, this is mine. I wish I would have gone, I don't know, Ma, or he's around, or meh, besides what I did, which is go, I think he went that way. I pointed without looking. First off, who points like this, like a gun? I said it without looking. I think he went that way, and my fingers went into a man's mouth, in, <laughs> into his mouth and head, full penetration. Some poor guy was like a hell of oh! I felt the hot wetness. I felt the mystery of his teeth and tongue. My mother's eyes got huge and they said nothing but you disgraced our family name forever. I pulled my hand out and wiped because the spittle came out. And I was like, oh! Like nice apology, a long vowel sound. And the man, like it made that oh, that choke noise. And his hand came up late, but it came up wrong. My fingers came out and side of his head, like something broke in his brain. His brain was like, plug the hole. No, lower, too late. His eyes were blank. He was no longer with us. He'd gone away to a farm he grew up on <laughs> with Cocker Spaniel puppies and his dead grandmother, because that's where his happy place is. Because look, no one's, that's what shock is, where you just, your body sends your mind away, like you can't handle this. No one here could handle that. If you were like, what's behind me? Ah, you would never recover. We need to interact. And look, I don't think I'm alone. Let me ask you folks, when you go to your favorite bar or restaurant and you go to the bathroom and you know for a fact the bathroom holds one person and you know it locks, do you knock or do you try? Try. Thank you, honest wolf packers. Thank you. No one knocks, right? We all do that cat burglar move, like, come on, give me nobody, give me nobody, give me nobody. <laughs> you heard the lock. No, no. Why? Because we don't want a faceless person having power over us, right? We don't want that, someone's in here. Oh, shut up, I hate you. <laughs> you prince, someone's in here, your highness. Side note, we should stop saying someone's in here. Like, I heard a human voice. <laughs> Say anything you want, right? Ah! Someone's in there. <laughs> they're horrified at what they're doing, but I'll wait. Bring an instrument, right? Barking, barking. <laughs> There's a clown in the bathroom. 
anything. Meow, 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 kitty, kitty. Wow, this guy's weird. <laughs> I was in a biker bar in Dallas. Don't ask. I'm using the John. And some guy just starts bang, boom, boom, and yank, grr, grr. And I was horrified. And I just went, who wants kisses? <laughs> Open the door, no line. Nobody there. <laughs> big dog is a big biker there. Buzz all wants a kiss. I gotta make out with Buzzsaw, a deal is a deal. <laughs> and I'm not saying don't knock, we've all been on the other end of that situation, right? Sitting on the toilet, feeling safe. <laughs> you locked it, it's the lock on the inside, that medieval one, pop, pop, right? <laughs> but no matter how soft you try, it always sounds like Jason Voorhees is coming through the door. <laughs> grr, grr, ah, no! Like, why is your hand out? You're nowhere near the door. What are you, Magneto? Strengthen the lock, fuse the hinges. And I'm just saying, let's start knocking, because look, we all admit it, we all try. One of these days, that lock's gonna pop. And what might you win slash lose when it does? Just burns a guy in mid-wipe, your eyes meet, enjoy your nightmares. When you see his junk retract like a scared turtle, no one's supposed to see that. Tissue still hanging like a white tail? Guys, let's start knocking on each other's doors and hearts. Thank you, America. I love that man, Matt Bronger.